Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to show how you can calculate percentages in your head. We'll start out with an easy example of calculating 10%. The method is to move the decimal point over one spot to the left. For the number 24, we move the decimal point over one spot to the left to find out that 10% is 2.4. In another example, the number 5.6, we move the decimal point over one spot to the left, and that gives us 10% is 0.56. It's very easy to calculate 10%, and that'll give us a method to calculate 15%. We first calculate 10%, and then we add half of 10% to itself. In the number 24, we start out by calculating 10%, by moving the decimal point one spot over. And now we take half of that. So half of 2.4 is 1.2. And we add these two numbers together to get us 15%, which is 3.6. Now this may sound complicated and look complicated, but trust me, if you practice, you'll get very good at it and you'll be able to calculate 15% in your head. For the number 5.6, we calculate 10% by moving the decimal point one spot over. And now we have to take half of 0.56. And we can do this easily as 0.28. So to get to 15%, we add these two numbers together, and we get that 15% is 0.84. To calculate 50%, we simply take a number and divide it in half. We divide it by 2. So 24, we can divide that by 2 to get 12. And 5.6, we can divide that by 2 to get 2.8. We'll build on this to calculate 25%, which is we're going to divide the number in half two times. So when we start out with 24, we first divide it in half to get 12. And then we divide it in half once more to get 6, and that'll be 25%. Similarly, for 5.6, dividing in half one time gives us 2.8, and we can easily divide that number one time more to get 1.4 as 25%. Combining these two methods, we can calculate 75%, by adding 50% and 25% together. So what's 75% of 24? We first calculate 50% by taking half. Then we calculate 25% by taking half once more. And to get to 75%, we add these numbers together. 12 plus 6 is 18. We do the same thing for 5.6. Half of the number is 2.8. We take it half of that number to get 1.4. And to get 75%, we add these two numbers together, which is 4.2. 60%, to calculate 60%, we're going to build on a couple of the things we've done already. We need to calculate 50% and then add that to 10%. So to calculate 60% of 24, we first calculate 50%, which is 12. Then we calculate 10% by moving the decimal point over. And we add these two numbers together to get 60% is 14.4. For 5.6, we first calculate 50% by taking half. Then we calculate 10% by moving the decimal point over. And finally, we add the two numbers together, so we get that 60% is 3.36. For 40%, it's a very similar process. We calculate 50%, and then we subtract out 10%. So our 50% and 10% are going to be the same numbers, but in our final step, to get to 40%, we subtract the two. So we get that 9.6 is 40% of 24. For 85%, this will be the most complicated example we're doing. 
We're going to calculate 15% and subtract that number from the whole. So how do we calculate 15%? First we calculate 10% by moving the decimal point over. Then we take half of that number. So we have 2.4 and 1.2. So 15% is the sum of these two, which is 3.6. And to get to 85%, we need to subtract that from the original number. So 24 minus 3.6 is 20.4, and that's 85%. The lesson in all of this video is that you should practice on taking 10% and dividing numbers in half, because all of the examples we've done here are combinations of those two steps. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, or on Twitter, at Presh Talwalker.